Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's. Come to look at a Citroen Picasso. So it's a C4 Picasso. Okay, we're gonna get the diagnostic set up. And the bonnet open. So you can hear, we've got a misfire. I don't know if you can hear that on camera or if you can actually see that, but the engine is sort of shaking. And it sounds like it's misfiring. Okay, so we do have an engine management light on there, so we should have some sort of fault codes here. Okay, let's go in and see what we're looking at. Okay, so we're in, and I'm gonna go straight to the ECM. Let's do a scan on that. So we have injector two signal short circuit between two wires. Uh, let's see what else if we've got any sort of. Uh, let's just select all. So we haven't got any sort of response from injector number two. Gets worse if you try and accelerate it. Yeah, that's a full that's full acceleration. Won't go past sort of eighteen hundred RPM. All right, let's have a look at cylinder number two. Okay, so we take off the engine cover, and then we're going to have to take out this air box to get in here. So give this a bit of a twist around that off. Now we've unplugged the air mass meter and we've got two 13 millimeter bolts here. Another one just over here. So we just removed these three screws from the top of the air filter box here. And the rear section of this is a bit tight so it looks like we'll have to move this uh, brake fluid reservoir. Just tuck that over to the side there where the battery is and it should give us a little bit more room to get this out. So there you go. Put all the rolls down there. Now we should be able to access these injectors. As you can see we've got number one there, number two just down there. Here we are, number two. So you got one, two, you got the bolts for them just down there. So this being French and a Citroen, most of these type of vehicles do count the cylinders one, two, three, four. So back to front, they count it from the gearbox side to the cam belt side. So the first thing I'm gonna wanna do is remove this high pressure uh, fuel line here. Just loosen her up from this end. And of course, we're just gonna wanna have a quick inspection of the cables make sure that they look okay and we will get the plug undone make sure that all looks okay no damage on here okay we can see we're getting signal there so we've got the injector unplugged now Okay, so we've already undone the plug, so we're just gonna put that over there. And we'll just loosen off this. It's a 15 millimeter spanner. Once it's cracked loose, we can just undo it by hand. And that should come away. Now we have an E10, sorry, E12 socket here. I'm gonna get that down onto the bolt clamp there. And that's it, we've got that out. Now we're just gonna unclip these injector leak off pipes from the top of number one and two there, and then we can just about twist that back so it's out of the way. I'm gonna grab hold of the injector. Now we shouldn't need any tools for this. You, these usually do come straight out. There we go. It's a really small little injector there. Some numbers on the top of that one. Now we can get a look at the condition inside. And we can use one of these tools here, it just cleans out where the injector sits down so when it, the new one goes in it's gonna sit nice and clean and seal properly. 
Okay, we've got a brand new injector there. Just greased it up a little bit. And we'll put some grease inside the copper seal there, just so it sticks to the injector basically. So when I turn it up this way, it doesn't fall off. So basically now we've just cleaned out the port here with this wire brush all the way up and down. Now we've also got a new bolt to go in. So basically we'll just sat the injector down in the hole where it needs to go. So I'm gonna try and align this bolt up, get it in by hand first, make sure that it's going in where it needs to be. And once this bolt's in, we can then try and get this fuel line hit over here, connect it up. So we put our fuel leak off pipes back on and just push them little green locking tabs back down. Electrical connector plug is back in. Okay, so I think we're at the point where we have the moment of truth. We now start it up and we should have no more misfire. Okay, we're back inside, so we're gonna start it up. You might get a slight misfire for a few seconds. Just give it a, give it a minute to um, settle itself down, build the fuel pressure back up. Uh, then we'll go back into the live data. Uh, no, sorry. Let's just go back into the fault code like I've done before. I've got grease on my fingers now. Okay, we've got all sorts of different ones. Obviously, I've had injector one and open as well. Um, select all of those. There we go. We can see the live data is now shown. All four of the injectors. Okay, now we can clear these fault codes. I pressed the wrong button. Let me go back. Okay, now we can. We're back here. We can uh, clear these fault codes. So you see, you got the PO two hundred one for cylinder one, PO two hundred two for cylinder two. Uh, airflow measured in consistency. So we're not going to worry about that. Injector two open circuit. We can, well there should be a clear fault code there, but no, we're going to have to go in here and do it. That's where I went wrong a minute ago. Okay, so we have clear. Oh, we need to read the fault code before we can clear them. Okay. We still haven't connected that. Okay, let's get this fitted back in. And connect back up. So let's hit reverse order, everything's fitted back in. Now we can clear or air temperature fault. There we go. Now we can go ahead and start the engine. Engine light is now gone. Engine is not shaking anymore. So this kit is from Laser Tools. It's injector seat cleaner. So you can use these little brushes, these wire brushes here, get down in the port and this skinny one to get down in where the nozzle goes. You just put them down, give them a little twist around. You can use a drill if you want. Or you can do it by hand, it depends how tough it is. That's it, we're all finished. See you in the next video.